Okay, now some of you, you might see the video title and you think this is cheesy. Casey, you're actually going to do a text breakdown and you're actually going to stoop to that level. You're also going to wear this Arctic Tundra polar hat. The answer is yes to both of them. Okay, here's why. First off, number one, here's what you got to understand. You can watch every single video about masculinity and stoicism that you want. You can do all this stuff on YouTube if you can't apply it live and in action to the people you want to date, the companions you want to see, in my opinion, you're wasting a whole bunch of time. Okay. So for those of you who actually want to have a really good dating life, yes, that would involve talking to the women you have interest in. So today I'm going to actually show you my Houdini level magic. Okay. I'm going to give you my live text breakdown. Okay. This is directly what I'm saying to her. And this is why I'm saying it. Don't let the hat distract you. Okay, I live in North Dakota, and it's cold out, and it's January, so I'm wearing it, and I spent a lot of money on this hat, too. Okay, I'll put each interaction, each message up on the screen right here, and I'll show you what I said all the way from open, all the way to number, and how to set up date, how to set up FaceTime, all that stuff. This interaction is about a month, month and a half old, and I'm going to show you this because it's been in my archive, and I've wanted to record this for a long time, so here goes. Okay, super cute girl. I open with what made pull up girl swipe right. So I called her pull up girl because in her pictures, there's one she's doing pull ups. I thought it was funny. Okay. You don't have to have anything elaborate on the open. Truthfully, if you are seeing women and you're matching with them online, if they find you attractive, chances are they will reply no matter how the open is. So keep that in mind. A lot of you, you have to progress to being high value. You have to progress to making yourself attractive. That includes having good pictures. That includes actually building a good body. That includes having a good social circle. Like there's nothing that can make up for that aspect. So keep that in mind. I open with what made pull up girl swipe right. She goes, say that again, question mark. Oh, pull up girl in quotes. LOL, my bad. Read that totally wrong. I go, yes, LOL, like your pick of you doing pull ups. She goes, yes, I get that now. Okay, so this is basic chit chat back and forth. These messages are all happening, I would say, within um, probably 10, 20 seconds apart. We're actually going back and forth on this app. I hearted her message. She goes, yes, I get that now. I go, oh, thank gosh. What made you swipe right on me? Okay, instantly you're going to see that I get tested. Okay, every guy will get tested, especially the more attractive the woman is, the more she's going to test you to make sure you're actually high value. She goes, thought you were cute. Was it a mistake that I did? Okay, most guys here, a lot of times they would try to backpedal or qualify. Oh, no, it wasn't a mistake. Or they, they try to prove themselves to her. I'm not trying to do any of that. Okay, so... <laughs> I go, yeah, one big giant mistake, winky face, ha. Huh? She goes, honesty is key, I suppose. Now, instantly what I did here is I told her what type of girls I like. So I go, I'm into women who gym and look fit. I like that, okay? So the reason why I said that, that I'm into women who gym and look fit is because she had a picture of her doing pull-ups. She looks fit, right? She looks really healthy. And what I did was I gave her like a bonus point or a brownie saying like, yeah, I'm into you because of X, Y, Z, because you did this. I'm not just into you just because you're cute. Like I'm into you because it looks like you have some sort of lifestyle. It looks like you are this type. Okay. The reason why I frame things that way is because girls want to feel like you like them for who they are. They do not want to ever just feel like you like them for their looks. Okay. That's oftentimes superficial and if she feels like you just like her because she's hot or because of her looks she's going to want to run away she's going to not want to talk to you and this is just how they operate she wants to feel wanted but she wants to feel wanted for far more than just like physicalities or beauty because then she might get hurt she might get heartbroken she might be let on just for you know just for you to sleep with her don't do that Okay, so what you want to do is you want to make sure you find things about the girl you actually like that makes them them on the inside. If you can do that, she's going to be much more trusting towards you and want to actually talk to you. So she goes, love the gym, my therapy. I go, so what's a girl like you on Tinder for exactly? And here's where it gets pretty funny. She goes, just a delusional, just a delusional girl thinking she'll find something worthwhile on Tinder <laughs> with a clown emoji. So I go, okay, define worthwhile for me. Now here it's funny because she articulates exactly what she wants. Now not a lot of not a lot of people do this, right? She seems very confident. She goes, a man who knows what he wants, is confident but not cocky, is ready to settle down, isn't intimidated easy, and has goals. A unicorn, basically. 
Okay, so she painted the picture of her perfect dream guy. Okay, and I rewarded her for being able to articulate it in that detail. Okay, so instead of fighting her on that or instead of anything, I went with it. Okay, I gave her a, like another bonus point. I go, oh, wow, a direct woman who knows what she wants. Okay, as if I'm impressed. Once again, the frame I'm coming from is higher value. Okay, she's winning me over based off her replies. And you'll see how I take this even a step further in a little bit. She goes, sounds silly, I know. And I go, very few women I've ever talked to are able to articulate it like that. Bonus points to you. She goes, isn't that what life's all about? Having an end goal of some sort rather than going through random motions? Return, return. I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? Instantly, I go, no, no, keep talking. You're doing a good job, winky face. Genuinely impressed so far. Once again, what's the frame I'm coming from? She's winning me over. Okay, first, it's because she can do pull-ups. Secondly, it's because gym is her therapy and she's fit and likes to go to the gym. Okay, third, it's because she can articulate what she wants. Notice, each step of the way, I am basically leading her to feel as if not only do I have options, but also like she's winning me over. So it feels like a win for her. If it only feels like a win for me and I'm trying to please pedestalize or supplicate to her, it's not going to work out and she's not going to like that dynamic. Okay. So she goes, or excuse me. So I go, no, no, keep talking. You're doing a good job. Genuinely impressed. She goes, you use the correct your bonus points to you. So now look at that reciprocation just happened. I've used the term bonus points. Now she's using the term bonus points. If any time a girl is talking to you in similar language that you are speaking in, that means she likes you. Okay. She's fitting your frame and you're actually rubbing off on her. That's a very good sign of reciprocation. If you can have reciprocation in interactions, usually it means that the girl likes you. Now, I forgot to read this part, but you're actually going to see super important information in that uh, text she sent. She goes, I'm actually a teacher. See, that's important. I forgot to read that part, but why would that be important? Because the only person who would know someone's job occupation is somebody who actually knows the other person. So what that means is you're going to notice if she is willing to say, hey, this is my occupation. She's feeling like we're talking. I know this guy. I want him to know about me. I want this guy to know about my life. This is good. If she's moving it slightly logistically forward for you as if you two already know each other and she's giving you insight into her life, that means she probably likes you. Okay, it means she's opening up to you. So I forgot to read that line, but it's also important. So now I try to progress to a phone off the app. I go, part of me wants to actually talk to you on the phone. You seem interesting. What are you doing right now? She goes, I'd consider myself interesting. Thank you. I'm currently at my friend's house, but I'm off of work for a while and we'll have lots of time just to show you how interesting I am another time. Smiley face. So she said she's busy. I go, love that. What's your number? I'll text you. Okay, so she gives her number. I'll blur that out. She goes, I don't throw out my number easily, so consider yourself lucky. Now think of that one interaction for a second. I don't throw it out easy, so consider yourself lucky. Why would she say that? Well, she's going to say that, so that way it seems like she's doing me a favor, or once again, she's trying to gain leverage in the interaction. That is a test. These are tests you have to spot because they come clear as day and you have to be able to articulate them. Now, another thing too, if you're meeting women online, the first thing you want to do once you get the number, either heart the message, okay, on the dating app so she gets a notification saying that you got it and then text her right away. Don't play this crap where you have to wait XYZ time or you're going to play games. Like just shoot her text and say, hey, it's, it's me or hey, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'll show you what I did. So she said, I don't give up my number easily. So consider yourself lucky. Women want to feel special. So I open with this. You guys will love this. I go, I don't ask for women's numbers often. So consider yourself chosen. <laughs> I go, Casey, by the way, winky face. She actually complimented me on that. And she goes, smooth, very smooth. I go, well, thank you. She goes, you're very welcome. I go, save my number. I'm sure we'll be in touch. I'll save yours as sassy teacher. It's because she said on her bio that she's a teacher. She teaches like preschool or something like that. So I go, I'll save yours as sassy teacher. Once again, you can see reciprocation happens. She validates it. I show a screenshot where I put sassy little thing as the, uh, um, the contact. She goes, love it. I'll save yours under undecided but interested in quotes and she goes kidding now even that language play right there th think about think about that right there what does that tell you if she's willing to say i'll save yours as undecided but interested 
what is that doing to like the fact that she's even able to articulate that and verbal verbalize that most men are won over so easy okay they are so won over the girl knows she has all the leverage okay they're just super pleasing they want her so bad they're saying anything they're sending all these emojis and all this this fake romantic crap that turns them off now here we have a girl Okay, where she goes, I'll literally save yours as undecided but interested. She's referring to me as being undecided, but I'm interested. What is that doing? I talked to you in a couple videos. I'll put the card right here on the top of the screen. That is called the what if factor. If a girl sits in the what if factor, what if he likes me? What if he doesn't? That right there is where chemistry and tension is built. You're needing to have that for any sort of romantic endeavor that you go on. Okay. The fact that she can articulate that says one thing. Casey, you did your job correctly. Okay, you showed interest, but you're not too pleasing. Okay, she doesn't even know if you fully like her yet. Okay, she's trying to put up a frame to win me over. So this is the interactions that you have to go through. And what you want to do is you want to progress it out of the apps. You want to get it to the phone. Okay, and you want to look at it to the next step of logistics. And here's the example I always tell guys. Okay, I say this, if she had investment, like if you're worried about flakes, if you're worried about girls not wanting to go on dates, here's how you got to look at this. If she went on on a date with her mom, okay, let's say she wanted to go grab lunch. She had a, she had a Sunday morning brunch date with her mom. Okay. What are her chances of flaking on that date or that time to meet up with her mom? Chances are it's slim to none or even zero. The reason being is because she has built a relationship with her mom and there's investment there. She's invested in her mom. Her mom's invested in her. The reason why I FaceTime, the reason why I want to make those connections with the girls that I'm seeing or that I've talked to is because the sooner and the quicker you can make it so that way they feel like they are talking to Casey, okay, insert your name in that sentence, the sooner they feel like, hey, I am making a connection with John or Frank or Henry, the sooner that they feel it's like that and not just a guy online, the quicker you're now looked at as a real person and you're going to have higher leverage and higher level priority. Okay, these are steps of escalation. And to take this even further, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go down below and I want you to check out the MBT webinar. What I've produced over the past three to five years, okay, with my inner circle is we've had thousands of men learn MBT, which is a term that I've coined all the way back to 2020 now, which is masculine behavioral techniques. Okay, and what I've done is I've simplified these language patterns. I've, I've simplified these conversations. I have simplified basically these interactions down to specific step-by-step -step structure and rinse and repeat processes that any guy can use and that any guy can follow. And the reason why I did that is because I know that the stuff that I'm good at does not come second nature. It does not come like it firsthand to most guys. To most guys, they have to learn this. And that's why I've templated everything. I've broken everything down into an exact step-by-step -step science that any guy can come into, rinse and repeat, get results, okay, and learn what to say and how to say it. And that is so critically important. You know, over the years, not only with the hundreds or even thousands of testimonials that I've gotten, has this process proved time and time again that it works and it helps fix guys' dating lives. I mean, the cool thing about it is like it's actually easy to follow. Okay, regardless of height, regardless of weight, regardless of income, regardless of like who you are and status and all that, you're still going to have to know the hardcore logistics. And that's what I don't think enough guys are actually talking about is like, hey, I'm doing all this stuff. I'm leveling up my life. I'm on my purpose, Casey. I'm trying to make more money, Casey. How do I convey myself in a way that's attractive to women? How do I speak the right language and how do I use the right sort of behavioral patterns so that way she likes me? Okay, that is so key and that is so crucial. Notice all of the layering. Notice all of the lines that I was showing you play by play why I say them and how I say them and what emotional responses I'm getting Okay, and how I'm getting her to qualify. But not only that, I'm making it seem like I am not necessarily one over too easy. This is all a skill. And I'm going to tell you this. I have met guys who are six foot tall, okay, 200 pounds plus, full of muscle. They can't have a conversation with a girl. They, they can't do it. They're not good at it. They get nervous. They sit on the couch. She feels awkward, right? There's not chemistry. There's no tension. Okay. And then all of a sudden, you know what? She goes, eh, he's, he's hot, but I didn't really like him. 
Okay, and then you know what happens is that guy probably, the interaction doesn't go anywhere. Let's put this in reverse. I've seen guys who make millions of dollars per year still struggle with ego and insecurity, still never feel like they're enough around women. And then you know what happens? They're out taking these vacations or spending way too much money that they don't need to be, all because what they're trying to do is put on a facade that they are something when deep down they're not. And what I want you to realize is I want you to realize this. This stuff is far easier then most people make it. But you have to understand MBT. You have to understand masculine behavioral techniques because these do not go outdated. This does not go out of style. This doesn't change depending on what new app or platform is out there. And you know what? I don't care what the latest and greatest trends are when it comes to dating or what people are doing. I don't care what sugar sites or whatever the crap people are doing. I don't care. This stuff works. And I watch this work every single day with my clients. And because of that, I want you to go down below. I want you to check out that webinar. I want you to see if it's for you. And I want you to see if you truly resonate with the other guys that you are seeing on that screen. And I know that that, that presentation alone is going to provide massive impact in your life, whether you decide to come on board with us on that mission or not. So I go, aren't you so funny? If you have any saved, send me a cute pic and I'll set it as your profile image. She goes, slow your roll, Casey. Patience is a virtue. We have time. Winky face. Once again, this is a test. She didn't fit the frame or she didn't comply. I go, wow, you're well-trained. A girl with game. She goes, a girl with game, but not a player, a winner with another wink. Okay. I go, so if you're a teacher, why do you have so much time off right now? She goes, I was an intern. Basically, I was a full-time teacher and had my own classroom, but was doing it for my free time. Basically, my last day today was, or today was my last day. I graduate college the 15th. Then I'll have my own classroom again and getting paid this time. Now, one thing about this interaction too, look at the length of her message and also look how she is giving me more insight into her life. So you can consider this logistics, okay? She's opening up. This is good. If ever they're willing to do this, right, it means that they're inching forward the level of investment. Okay, from here, you can probably even start to talk on the phone with her or anything like that because she's starting to open up. Okay, so I flipped the script on it. Anytime a girl likes to talk about money or something like that, like she's referring to her job, I make a joke, right? I'm saying something along the lines of, so you'll be my rich sugar mama and you can pay for everything, including my truck. They laugh, obviously. They're like, ha ha, exactly. Now I'll be fine, okay, that she goes into more logistical talk of what she'll make. Now, what I'm doing here, okay, once she has moved it out or once we've moved it out of the back and forth flirtation and now we're into specific you know, talking as far as logistics, I'm learning about her, I'm learning about her life. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm moving the interaction to logistics where I can FaceTime her or talk to her on the phone. So that way I have next level investment so I can take her out on a date sometime. So guys, what I really want you to see and pay attention with this is that language matters, okay? And language patterns matter, okay? And without proper language patterns, especially like in today's day and age, it is extremely hard to make the type of connections that you need. That is exactly why I created MBT. And truthfully, that is why I make these types of videos on a weekly basis for all of you. So guys, hit the like button, okay? Comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.